Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Snookus. Today we're gonna continue on our, our Europa Universalis campaign, um, Swedish Independence. Uh, that's what it's called, I believe. Uh, Mark II. And last time we were on the brink of war with Denmark over here. Just look at these guys. All menacingly looking over the small little sea here, the Strait of Öresund. Just preparing for war. Um, yeah, we're gonna wait just to the end of this month, month until um, we have full morale. We're gonna call in all of our allies, even though they won't all be helping really much. But still, it's something uh, we mainly want the British naval power. Uh, we're not gonna do that and we're not gonna do this. We're gonna save the administrative points for coring. So yeah, let's go here. I'm just gonna check on our heirs in Poland. Yep, we're still in the lead, even though Saxony is gonna gain on us in the coming months. Here we go! Look out, Denmark, here we come. Ready or not. Okay, that's that. We're gonna have to wait for this war to. Uh, this battle to uh, finish up. Nice. Now uh, let's crush the Danes. That's a solid swipe right away. <laughs> Since that went so well, let's uh, split up off our army here. And let's yeah, move over to Midtjylland as well. Although we can't. Yeah, we can. I'm just gonna siege down this uh, island here to. Um, Make it able to us for us to appoint a general for this guy. And I know we're gonna go above the uh, leader limits, but holy shit! All right, but that's gonna have to be um, have have to do as of right now. And even though we're losing money, um, uh, hands over fist uh, right now, I'm gonna leave our fleet in the Öresund to. Um, uh, provide a bonus that it does for our sieges. Pretenders, for some reason. But we have a good uh, new king, which I appreciate. Um, 643, which is gonna give us a lot of administrative. That's great. That's amazing. Um, royal marriages with all of our allies right away. Holy shit. Um, yep. For a second there I thought I'd left the um, <laughs> speed on five. Um, yep. This war is going swimmingly. Lithuania is already over in Verden. Verden? Verden? Uh, helping us out. We've almost taken the... <laughs> England's already in uh, Norway. So we almost 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 taken the um, capital of Denmark as well. These guys aren't even a monarchy, so we can't actually royal marriage them. What would be nice would uh, would be if England could get their butts over to Gotland and um, Take it for us, so we don't have to. That would be nice of them. Birkaland? Birkaland? What? what? All right. Um, let's. You know what? Let's um, put these guys on rebel suppression. Let's exchange the generals, though. We don't want the great general leading um, in rebel suppression. We want the great general leading in battles against the enemy.
great. Good battle there. Uh, this is looking fine. I suppose it was a bit um, <laughs> imbalanced, but you know, maybe I shouldn't have called in Poland. Maybe kept those for the future. Yeah, what's done is done. It's fine. Didn't I tell you to protect trade? Maybe I didn't. Uh, yep, go about it like that. Okay, so we got a new arm, which is terrible. And I'm gonna disown in at the earliest opportunity. Our queen, though, is solid. Damn. Alright. Have a lasting friendship. Sounds good. Our queen, damn. I almost wish for our king to die. Holy shit. Eric, um. That's his name, the Sonar John. <clears throat> um, yeah, so we're gonna dump John at earliest opportunity. Spy detection isn't great, but you know, a 666 six, 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 six easily makes up for it. So let's move over to Lowland. Really? England? Really? Right now? Can you just give them Kalea in the first war? Alright, we're coming. Or we're not actually coming, but um, you know, we're, we'll pretend to, we'll pretend to come if you want us to. <laughs> you know what? If you want to, you can go ahead. Come on, let's join it. Show us what you got. We've got... Oh, oh, all right. What a freaking idiot. What the hell? I'm just gonna... Take a look at this. They have 15,000 um, infantry, 1,000 cavalry and no uh, artillery. Denmark is already out. No uh, Norway is also um, about to be out. Verdun is completely out. Uh, Mecklenburg is about to be taken out by me. They are soon to be the only actually actual competence in the war on their side i i don't yeah i just don't see the reasoning there but sure i'm sure they have some kind of intelligence although i suppose this is proof that it is really artificial we aren't actually losing that much money now and i'm guessing it's because our France got their ass up here. Okay. Good to keep in mind. So, okay, so we're gonna have to try and not stray too far into the um, continent here. Have to keep that in mind. That's fine. We still have um, uh, one of our armies left the, the kingly army or the royal army. God damn it, England. Why right now? I suppose we should spend this here. Just to um, make sure we don't hit the ceiling. What's the next, next uh, tradition? Idea, I mean. Discipline. Okay, th that might actually not be a horrible idea. But um, no, I think we're gonna... Stay on course here. Let's buy some mercenaries and bolster our army with. We can actually get cannons now, so I suppose we should at least get one value cannon and uh, help us siege down this fort and every other fort. Lithuania is taking care of uh, Novgorod one-handedly, completely by, by themselves. So 
So I suppose I shouldn't worry about uh, at all about that. <clears throat> Good work. Moldavia, keep it up. Is this a stupid idea? Might be. But I'm thinking it might just turn the tide of the warp. I was wrong. Alright. <laughs> well, uh, we get got to keep the unit at least. That's something. Let's get a stability here, shall we? That wouldn't be too shabby, really. And now we have Verdan here, offering us peace, so let's not make them our vassal. Let's make them pay war operations and trade power. Possibly giving us... Yeah, we're not actually trading in um, Liebeck anyway, so... We aren't, wouldn't really gain anything from getting trade power. So let's um, annul their treaties and get some um, prestige from it instead. We actually don't get a lot, but it's something. Yep, alright, let's go. Alright, that's that siege done. They have an incredible leader here though, so we're gonna have to watch out for that. Oh great. Come on. Yeah, you got it England. You got it. That's fine. Um, how is our dynasty doing over here then? Not great. They overtook us as I said, but we took it back, so that's cool. We're slowly taking Novgorod as well. We're gonna make a lot of gains from this war. Gonna try to take this at least. Maybe this and this as, as well. Um, I'm gonna take at least one of uh, Mecklenburg's provinces. We're gonna take at least Gotland and Blekinge. And possibly even uh, Bornholm and probably even uh, Farana. So we're gonna have to take into consideration how much aggressive expansion that is. So let's actually take a look at that. If we consider everything, we can't take that right now, but still. Um, that's everything. We might want that as well. It's fine. Uh, have I missed anyone? Oh, that one as well, which is gonna cost a lot. And I want at least that one, but I could take both. I could actually simply not take that one, which still be still still be all right. So uh, yeah, I'm sure it's gonna solve itself. They it could take two provinces down here even, maybe. We'll see. We're winning every front of the war, really. I don't really know what England is doing or what. Yeah, I don't really know what England is doing. I suppose we should let them siege that down instead of bothering ourselves. Let's move over here and siege this down. Should already have replaced that general. That's my bad. Right, okay, so now we're gonna uh, well, uh, cap out on the diplo points. So let's spend. Once on this, and then let's go into development, get the cheapest one. Uh, and spend two points there. Okay, so no idea, no reason to go there. I'm not going to venture down here and get attacked by France again. Don't they have any other... okay. Okay, so there's not much I can do actually. Should we? Eh, yep, yeah, we can. They abandoned this siege. Let's take it ourself, ourselves. I have no idea why they 
Sarge Sar in here. They didn't lose much, but still, seem just yeah, seems stupid. We have uh, contributed some in the war. Oh, yeah, thanks. Um, okay, so the clergy want more land. So let's give them something cheap. Should be enough. It's enough. Great. That's cool. This is gonna take a while, but that's fine. Hopefully they these guys don't attack. They will. Seems. But England is gonna back us up, so that's fine. We're gonna... When are we getting here? On the 6th. So we're gonna wait until the end of the month, month and then we're gonna shift consolidate. Fill up our ranks. They, they're actually gonna win anyway. We're gonna lose against England, I mean. But England is gonna win. Um, we are winning down here as well, even though um, um, Lithuania and Poland is fluffing about somewhere. I don't know what where Poland is actually. There, they're sitting down Rostock. Great. Sorry, I doubted you, Poland. You're the greatest ally I have. My only friend. Okay, so regiments, power, um, autonomy or power. I think we're gonna go with the rebels simply because our allies gonna sort it out. Hopefully. Now we're attacked again, but. Uh, oh yeah. When are they gonna hear? In time, I think. Yep, no worries. That should be the last time they attack us. Is anyone taking care of the rebels? Might have been stupid on me there. improve relations when we're at war with these guys anyway just so the um, aggressive expansion doesn't sever our alliances okay so now let's place our army in like Stockholm and then uh, set them on rebel suppression okay so money or um, and we owe them um, a, uh, what's it called in debt uh, or we get the prestige which I think is fine and we don't have to um, wait for them to call in a, a debt to us uh, one of our debts to them I mean okay so yeah we're definitely winning this war we're definitely losing the other war not that anyone was suspecting anything else okay so let's hunt some rebels great they're unfortunately gonna take Helsingland before we get there essentially rendering our decision mute because we now lost as many uh, as much autonomy as we were gonna lose anyway if we took the autonomy option I mean okay um, oh crap let's take another choice there and let's um, spend some diplo on this We're just behind Saxony. Should be able to uh, get a, get the first position back in a little while. Let's eradicate the Norwegians while we can. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Where are they going, Trondelag? Probably gonna go further than that. Can recall that one. Would like someone to uh, take Friesland out, but um, it's not the end of the world. 
Could we get Mecklenburg out? Maybe we can. We can take both these areas. We're gonna take a lot of um, aggressive expansion from it, but it's still gonna it's gonna take down while we continue with our other war, the rest of the war, and um, and the um, emperor is not gonna be able to call in asking us to give up the areas until our war is over. So I think this is the right decision. So let's um, let's do that. I think, yeah. Don't see any downside really. <laughs> All right, it's, it's got a lot of anatomy, autonomy, anatomy. Let's uh, core him right away, so we uh, lose all of the, uh, what's it called, revolt risk, unrest as soon as we can. It's gonna go fairly quickly though, so I'm considering simply moving, actually we should peace out with Novgorod as well. Um, I think I'm just gonna move my army down here right away and ship him over to... Uh, To uh, to the Mecklenburgian provinces we just took. That sounds like the good like a good idea, like the right idea. Anyway, and uh, 20 minutes is up, and I'm gonna end the episode here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please leave a like if you like the episode, and if you like my videos in general, please um, consider subscribing if that's something you might be up to. Anyway, hopefully see you next time. See you later. Bye.